there are really two fundamental paths. History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, I, I don't have an immediate doomsday prophecy, but there's, it's eventually history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. Yes? <laughs> so how do we figure out how to, how to take you to Mars? Um, this is an actual scale of what the solar system looks like. So we're, we're currently in the, the third little rock from the left. Uh, that's Earth. And our goal is to go to the fourth rock on the left. Uh, that's Mars. And if we get a co the cost of moving to Mars to be roughly equivalent to a median house price um, in, in the US, uh, which is around $200,000, then I think the probability of establishing a self-sustaining civilization is very high. I think it, I think it would almost certainly occur. Not, not everyone would want to go. In fact, I think a relatively small number of people from Earth would want to go, uh, but enough would want to go and who could afford the trip that it would happen. Th these are the key elements that are needed in order to uh, achieve the four and a half order of magnitude improvement. Most of the, the improvement would come from full reusability, somewhere between two and two and a half orders of magnitude. And then the other two orders of magnitude would come from refilling in orbit, uh, propellant production on Mars, and choosing the right propellant. Uh, and then the, the propellant tanker goes up, and it'll go, actually, up, it'll go up multiple times, so anywhere from three to five times to fill the tanks of the, of the spaceship in orbit. Um, and then once the, the spaceship is the tanks are full, the cargo has been transferred, and uh, we reach the Mars rendezvous timing, which, uh, as mentioned, is roughly every 26 months. This is to give you a sense of size. It's quite big. <laughs> and, yeah. and the funny thing is, I think. In the, in the long term, the strips will be even bigger than this. I, I think that, that this will represent, this will be relatively small compared to the Mars um, interplanetary ships of the, of the future.